If you pour 10W30 instead of 5W20, you're essentially gambling with your car's lifeblood. First, let's clarify what those numbers mean. They refer to the oil's viscosity, or its resistance to flow. The W stands for winter, indicating the oil's viscosity at cold temperatures, while the second number reflects its viscosity at higher temperatures. Your engine is designed for a specific viscosity to maintain peak performance. Using 5W20, as recommended, means the oil is thinner, allowing for easy flow when it's cold, and providing sufficient protection when it's hot. So, what happens when you switch to 10W30? In colder temps, the thicker oil won't flow as quickly as the engine needs. The components won't get the lubrication they require in the crucial moments after startup, potentially increasing wear over time. Conversely, in higher operating temperatures, 10W30 might not be as detrimental as it's closer to 5W20 in viscosity under heat. But here's the rub. Modern engines have tighter clearances, designed for thinner oils. The denser 10W30 could potentially lead to increased friction and reduced fuel economy. Assuming you're not pushing your vehicle through extreme conditions, the engine may tolerate this substitution short term. But keep in mind, using the wrong oil can also void warranties and lead to costly repairs down the line. Let's face it, living in Portland, Oregon with its moderate climate might not push the oil to its limits like, say, the scorching heat of Arizona or the frigid cold of Minnesota. Still, it's no excuse to deviate from the manufacturer's recommendation. Stick to what's specified for your car. Deviating can be a slippery slope towards unnecessary wear and tear. And trust me, Portland's charm doesn't quite extend to a car breakdown on the side of I-5.